I am Billionaire Charlie, man. Back at it again, man. Now, we're about to talk about it. We got another hot topic, man. Before we get into all that, man, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, man. So hit that, that like button, that subscribe button, and donate to the channel. My cash out information right there below. But, man, we got another hot topic today, man. Today, we're going to talk about Kodak Black, man. I'm really starting to think he's losing his mind a little bit, man. I just seen the statement where he said he's on the level as a Biggie and a Tupac and Nas. And then we found out the information that I just found out that Sticky Finger said the whole incident on the bus ain't happened. And then we all seen the situation with Lil Wayne, his daughter, and his ex-wife. And I'm starting now to understand what's going on with my man's man. I was always a big Kodak, um, Kodak Black fan. Like this music, man. I thought he was a dope artist. But he been saying a lot of crazy things out of his mouth towards a lot of people, man. And like I say, man, I'm not understanding is he making all this stuff up or what's what the case is going on with my man it's out here in these streets, man. But a lot of people think that he loses his mind, man. Or whatever he's taking or whatever he's doing, he need to stop messing with it, man. Then like again, he, he doing the young MA thing when he was coming at young MA. You know what I'm saying? Talking about a lot of women out here don't know what they really want and stuff of that nature. So I'm just like, I'm confused with this guy, man. He making a lot of statements, man, but he, it just don't have no sense behind the statements that he making, man. Everything that he's saying, everything he's talking about just don't make sense, man. And I'm not understanding. If, if, if you're going to say something out your mouth, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure it makes sense, man, and be logical, man. I heard a Lil Wayne record even calling him illiterate, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, man, Master P tried to help this young man out, and he still just been off his rockers, man. I don't know what's wrong with the homie, but I'm really starting to think something wrong with him. Any two times he started to compare himself to a Biggie, a Pop, and a Nas. I'm like, bro, you put out a good record, a good, a good, a good album, you know what I'm saying? But you can't compare yourself to those type of individuals, man, because you got to put in the body of work that they put in. You feel what I'm saying? And then all these young M.A. situations. It's like just a whole lot of stuff keep piling up, man. And I don't know if he's trying to sell a product or what is he trying to do out here in these streets. But I feel like it's making them look crazy the more and more he reaching the way he reaching. And I like his music, but I the antics, he got to start with the antics, man. You know what I mean? You got the streets. You got people behind you. You don't have to be coming at Lil Wayne and his, his daughter. Any, any man that's out here, man out here coming at a female on wax all over the internet and stuff of that nature. And the man um, ex-wife. I'm like, you gotta have some type of character about yourself, man. And Sticky Fingers allegedly saying that this never happened. I heard the diss record, man. <laughs> I don't think you messing with Kodak right now with that diss record. <clears throat> I heard a little skipping of it, man. <clears throat> I don't think he want to smoke with Kodak on the on the, on the music tip right now. You know what I'm saying? I know Onyx and I was hot back in the days, but you talking about Kodak right now on the music tip, he's gonna kill him. You know what I'm saying? He gonna do him dirty in the music tip. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, I just I just hope Kodak get get everything back on track, man. I love his music, man. But a lot of his comments, man, the Gucci comment, the stuff about Master P, the younger maid, just all the stuff I keep saying over the years with Kodak Black just going off the rockers, man. I don't understand what's going on with that, man. I'm really hoping to get his act together, man. He he, get, he almost getting his worst. It's, it's young, it's, 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 it's thug out here, young thug out here, man. I'm just hoping my man's get back on the rock, on, back on track, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, I, I, I like Kodak Black as an artist, man, but... I can't take this, some of the words and some of the things he's saying out of his mouth, man. I be looking at it as some real disrespectful stuff, man. I'm just hoping this get this young man get his life on track. Stop using whatever the heck he's using and just get on track, man. Because it's just love. just listening to the stuff he's saying. I don't like this dude old energy. I don't really like people. I'm like, bro, who talks like that? It sounds illiterate and crazy. Like, this is, like, weird to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a care what kind of streets you come from, man. It does sound crazy. Even with the whole Gucci situation, man. All black people are reaching. Come on, dog. You got to be doing better than that. You know what I'm saying? As a leader out here in these streets. 
I hate for a person to be in a position to say he's not a leader. You're going to be a leader because you're in that position and everybody's watching. So any crazy thing you do, man, you are leading the youth in the wrong direction. So we got to be in a positive, positive light, positive upon the culture, man. You can't keep putting out negative stuff, man. I like Kodak music. And I ain't gonna, I'm going to be real, but I like his music. I just don't like his antics and some of the stuff he be saying. I be thinking it be way love. You know what I'm saying? Way, way love. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, him saying he better than Biggie and on the level of Biggie or Nas and that. That's like him saying he on the same level as Jay-Z. Like, come on, dog. Like, tighten up, man. But once again, man, I am Billionaire Charlie, man. You feel what I'm saying? Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, man. Trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Come support, donate to your board. You know what I'm saying? My cash out information right there below. But like I always say, man, put God for his family and finances, man. Much respect, respect to all the gods out there. Much respect to all my Muslim brothers. And much respect to all the Christian people out there. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody of my culture. You did. Much love, much respect. Being there, Charlie. I'm out.